What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, I hope you all are doing good and I'm also really good and as you all know, you know, uh, schools haven't started yet, offices are also started in some countries and some not, especially for my, uh, in Dubai, schools have not started. So, uh, you know, a good setup for my laptop and, you know, for my books and stuff to study as well, as well as make these YouTube videos was very necessary. Even though I don't edit, edit my YouTube videos on my laptop, I just use my phone for that. I use Kindmaster, but I thought, you know, a setup on my parents was also because I had the same setup for more than three years and we thought that you know let's just take a new setup for my studies as well because I'm in ninth grade at the moment right now so today's video will be a you know a setup tour it's a very budget friendly setup tour so as you can see on screen I have uh, loads of things um, first of all I have a laptop as well as a printer and uh, on the side I've kept some books okay so let's start with the laptop the laptop specifications will be listed in the description below as well as you can see on screen that's the specifications of my laptop and uh, it's the uh, HP laptop uh, which has some 8 GB of RAM as well as some 512 GB of in in internal storage and all the specifications will be listed in the description below. The next um, is the mouse. The mouse is basically um, what do you call this uh, Logitech mouse. It's just a normal wireless mouse which has USB and a battery and then the mouse pad. The mouse pad was a pretty cheap mouse pad that my uh, mother brought uh, uh, for me uh, for some reason I don't know why <laughs> but okay uh, even though I can use the mouse without the mouse pad and then next as you can see I've kept a book there uh, just so that you guys can understand how much space there is so that's like, the setup as you see that's exactly how the setup looks like uh, when I'm sitting for my online uh, school except that there are some more books uh, and then and then on the side there is a laptop a screen cleaner which I've kept there if sometimes my laptop screen or my phone screen gets pretty dirty so that's pretty necessary for that uh, then on the side I've actually kept a pen holder which has some bunch of highlighters extra pens um, you know all the extra stationary items which a student needs and then on the side I've kept some books that's actually not a that, that's a table ends there but that's actually an extra four layer drawer which I have which I've which I have since three years as well uh, my water bottle has been has kept there and as well as my stapler my rubik's cube i know how to solve the rubik's cube by the way uh, as well as some books my encyclopedia uh, a book that i was reading last time uh, i've already finished that book but i'm uh, you know getting some ideas from it and stuff and then my kindle my short diary and stuff etc okay and then the four layer drawers I, i'm not going to go into too much detail into what's that and then let's go to the other side then there's an epson printer as you can see the printer is there it's actually a new printer that we just recently got i'm not very impressed by its quality it's really boring and you know stupid and idiotic <laughs> and that's stupid words but yes uh it, the printer doesn't work really well but it's it, it can be managed now uh and then yeah that's pretty much it and then the cable management uh, there's no exactly cable management there's only a um you know the laptop uh, charger then there is the printer ca uh, cable and then there's the phone charger that's it so yeah and, and then there's this chair the chair is basically some uh, chair that my dad brought and the, chair, the table as you can see is actually um, a different unique type of table like there's another drawer type uh, uh, extra table that comes out you can also keep it inside if you don't want that but I've kept it outside because I keep my books inside it so yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I just wanted to make that quick setup drawer type video and I've tried to make it as, uh, you know, amazing type quality as much as possible. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you, um, you know, got some ideas for your desk setup tour. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.